So, you guys are coming into this a little late, but I want to really highlight this game. This game really shows off the amount of knowledge that we've been able to accumulate on this channel against Ambush. So to give you a rundown, my opponent has played Isengrim into an Ambush card. I'm predicting it's Morin, not Teruvial, despite the way my opponent's playing. So I put a Sapper on the ground, and my opponent responded to that Sapper with a Kirin, which is why the Sapper is locked on my side. After baiting the lock, I play Morin. The Morin hits the Hawker support, which is why the Hawker support is at one strength over there. I played the Regis Higher Vampire, ate one of my opponent's Dragoons. The Dragoons are extremely important in this deck that my opponent is playing, so I'm going to prevent my opponent from drawing more Dragoons. As I can probably guess, he doesn't have any Dragoons in his hand, or else he would have played it earlier. Still, my opponent is playing as if he has a Truvial on the board. Now I pass. If my opponent is playing was playing Truvial, it would have flipped right now. My opponent is not, so I know it is Morin. If my opponent wants to beat me, they're going to have to play another card. If they do that, they go three cards under me. Now, if I were my opponent, I would have tried to win this round. Regardless of the three card loss, because you can just pass in the next round in order to get uh, that card advantage back, since I'm not playing with any carryover. But, win some, lose some, you know? So I'm going to open up with my Dragoons. My Dragoons are going to really rack up points. I have a choice after a bunch of rounds of whether or not I'm going to just pass afterwards or push this to the end. My opponent makes, um, I'd say, a medium-sized misplay. They should have just played the Blue Mountain Commando in their hand and then played First Light, but I think they were trying to get a Dragoon onto the board as early as possible. But the one point extra you would get for getting the Dragoon out early isn't worth the risk of pulling a Blue Mountain Commando. <clears throat> this is a great time to push out Illyrian. While my Illyrian didn't get any buffs, it's not, I'm not going to be able to bamboozle without Teruvial, and I didn't draw into Teruvial, Teruvial here. So it's best to just get the cards out of my hand now. Okay, at this point, I'm taking out the lowest point cards out of my hand first. My opponent's getting at least their biggest combo out. They got the Sheldon Skaggs into Blue Mountain Commando into Zoltan Shive, which is like a ton of points. He's at 46 points with three cards, so that's at that's roughly like 16 points a card. It's hard to beat that kind of tempo. However, I'm going to get a huge Bran off eventually. Right now, I'm kind of setting up for a Commander's Horn. I'm not going to get any Commander's Horn value in any other round, so I might as well do it now. Here we see that my opponent was extremely unlucky. And it's good I exploited this round as long as possible because the I get to expose things like Saskia being in my opponent's hand. Now I don't think I would if I were my opponent played Saskia. I would have probably eh, waited a reasonable amount of time. Okay, I baited out the Geralt Igni. Now my opponent might have cards that move my cards around, so if I had waited to the next round, he might have been able to brigade my cards into the same row and then use Igni on me. And we also know that my opponent's been buffing a card in their hand, which is probably that last card there. Okay. 
I'm at least going to play Commander's Horn, unless I am fairly certain that I'm going to win the round if I play Bran. My opponent has something to think about here. Yes, uh, I was fairly certain that uh, Illyrian would pop out after I played Vanguard. I was going to save it for later, but... My opponent decided to Geralt Igni, Igni me then. Okay, my opponent's played the Truvial. I'm absolutely certain that that's Truvial. The Truvial, since I've not seen anything else that was buffed in my opponent's hand this entire round, probably got double buffs from Hawker support. Putting it at 12 strength. Now my opponent misplayed again here. They should have put the brand on the other side of the uh, Blue Mountain Commando. They didn't and that cost them an extra two points. I'm gonna just hit Sheldon's Gogs. Um, it's the same amount of uh, there isn't any card I can hit here that would weaken the Teruvial, so that's probably my best target. Because if I hit the Blue Mountain Commando next to Teruvial, then it's going to hit the Sheldon's Gag, so that's the most strength I can remove from the board with one card. My opponent forfeits, which is fine. And I win the game, and I think this is my best game all this week. More and it can be a liability if your opponent guesses correctly that it is, in fact, Morin. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment, too. I really like it. I will hope you have a good day.